Welcome Pisces gang. I'm back y'all with another video. So happy birthday to my fellow Pisces. Alright, so this is dedicated to my Pisces. I hope that this is going to be a good read for you all. Um, let's see what we got coming up. Alright, this is Pisces season. Let's see what's coming ahead for the Pisces for the month of March. Alright, let's do it. Let's see what we got. All right. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button because you aren't going to want to miss out on future videos. Um, if this message happens to resonate with you, all the better. Okay. Comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to share with your family and your friends. Um, and like, guys. Likes keep this channel in rotation. All right. So let's get the likes up. Let's just keep this channel rotating, all right? So, message for Pisces, please. General message for Pisces. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, South Node, North Node. Pisces, please. What's coming towards Pisces? All right, here we go. We got the magician here at the bottom of the deck here. All right, so you could be manifesting, okay? A magician and a six of pentacles and the six of cups. Someone could be giving, uh, you could be giving someone another chance or you're giving back. I'm seeing that as well too. Let's see what's going on. We got the star card, all right? Nine of swords, 10 of pentacles, moon, eight of swords. There's also in your head energy. So y'all could be in your heads a lot. We got the three of swords, nine of pentacles, king of cups, seven of swords, and the king of swords oh all right so i'm getting that it looks like y'all are really really zoomed in and focused on your pentacle on your career on your money on your goals because the first card that we have out is the star as well as your energy is the nine of pentacles here as well as the ten of pentacles here so I'm getting like you are like basically like star status, okay? Like you are celebrity status. I'm getting it. But what's crossing you is the nine of swords. So I'm getting there's like some worry, okay? Maybe about some things that are hidden with the moon card here. And I'm seeing that you're definitely in your head a lot with this eight of swords here. Um, so let's see what's, what's what, okay? So let's see what's going on. I do want to see why the moon is here. I'm also getting that some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio like yourself, an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. What's the moon here? The Five of Wands. Okay, so I'm getting like there's some jealousy or competition here. Yeah, because we got the Six of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. It's like you're coming out on top, but I'm getting like there's someone who is jealous of you. I'm getting that someone is jealous of your success. Why is the Five of Wands here? Why is the Five of Wands here? The three of pentacles. And let's look at here. The four of wands. Strength. Chariot. I feel like you guys had the courage to take some type of risk or some type of leap of faith. Um, and I feel like something here that you have been building on, working on, um, is looking very good for you. Looks very promising. Okay. So you may have some haters. I feel like y'all got some secret haters. 
all right so be careful of who you call your friend be careful who you let close to you at this time pisces because i feel like you're rising to the top um, and you got some people that's kind of like trying to keep you down. Okay, we got the Nine of Swords. I want to know why the Nine of Swords is here. Six of Pentacles. Okay. Knight of Swords and the Two of Cups. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Something's giving you anxiety. Something's worrying you. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Yeah, um, someone here could be uh, getting close to you, um, portraying that they're um, like a friend, but I'm getting like getting too close. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Like I said, the Nine of Wands. Like I said, somebody's trying to get close to you, Pisces, because they see you in your winning season. Like I said, I can't make this up. The Six of Wands, okay, and the Knight of Wands. You're extremely busy, okay? Whatever you're working on is successful. Why is the Star card here? Six of Wands, like I said, didn't I tell you guys? You guys are shining extremely bright here. You're getting a lot of recognition. Whatever it is that you're working towards, you're being recognized. This is celebrity status. The star and the six of wands. Yeah. Okay. Somebody is being recognized um, for an accomplishment. And you're kind of like funny about letting people get too close to you. Um, because I feel like you may know that, that these people who are coming towards you are kind of like haters. Okay. Why is the 10 of pentacles here? You're invested. You've been, uh, you're focused on the bag. Like you're, you're going, you're doing it big. Okay. You're doing it big. Why is the 10 of pentacles here? Okay, so I'm getting it as well. The people who are watching you, they're watching you because things aren't progressing as quickly for them. And then you got this energy. You got hater energy, okay? You got that five of swords energy. Okay, this is what they're this is what they have to offer you. This is what they're going to bring you. They could be bringing you some bad news, bringing you some bad vibes, okay? Be club, be careful of who you have close to you. Okay, be careful. They could call you call themselves your friends, but they not. They don't. They don't want you to be comfortable. They don't want you to enjoy um, your fruits of your labor. Okay, so you have to be extremely careful. Knight of Wands want to jump out. You have to be extremely careful who you have close to you. But I, I feel like you already understand that. Why is the Eight of Swords here? King of Pentacles, all right? So you're definitely, like, I feel like a lot of you manifested um, this abundance into your life or this status into your life um, because I feel like some of you, like, over-obsessed uh, about your finances, obsessed about um, abundance. You wake up every day, you think about it, you speak affirmations, okay, like, you you could even feel like look i don't even really i ain't even studying no friends or no uh partying and none of that right now i gotta get to i got i got better things that i could be doing right now i got better things that i could be doing right now why is the king of pentacles here some of y'all dealing with the virgo taurus or capricorn we got the lovers could be dealing with the gemini now we got the three of swords here Some of you could be over obsessing about a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn or a Gemini. Um, somebody here could be afraid to reach out or thinking of what they're going to say um, when this person reaches out. 
Now we got the three of swords for future energy and the six of swords. So it looks like if there was some type of heartbreak or sorrow or pain, you are making a final decision moving ahead to solely focus on your fruits of your labor. Okay, the things that you've invested in. Okay, you're looking at you're looking way past that hurt. Okay, I feel like you held on long enough. You you've done you've done the work. Okay, the shadow work. You've kind of done that, and now you are definitely moving on from that, leaving that type of energy behind. Like, you're done with that. You're done with that energy. You're focused on something else here. Your focus is elsewhere. You shifted your focus, yeah. So you you got bigger plans, okay? Like, you're planning ahead. You're planning ahead. Now, we got you as the Nine of Pentacles. Like I said, some of you are single some of you, um, if you aren't single, you're just extremely focused on your money, okay? Your career, your finances, see, yeah, your wish fulfillment, okay? What's going to make you comfortable? What is What it is that you want, okay? Your desires. You want stability, okay? You want longevity, long-term. Yeah, see, like, I feel like you've been, things have been on hold long enough. Like, you're like, okay, it is what it is. I know what I want now. I'm ready to go ahead and take that leap of faith um, for this new beginning, okay? You're jumping right into stability. You're jumping right into something that's going to have you feeling more comfortable, okay? Now, we got a king of cups over here. The world wanted to jump out, too. So, there's a closing of a chapter for sure, for sure. Now, we got the king of cups over here. You could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio like yourself. Yeah, see, we got the four of cups that want to jump out. Somebody over here is disappointed. They're disappointed because you're not showing them any interest. Um, you aren't expressing your feelings to them. You aren't giving them any of your uh, or any of your energy. Could be a Capricorn, okay, with the devil card here. Like, yeah, somebody here could be married or, or you know, legally married or there's a separation or something like that. But I'm getting like somebody feels that doesn't feel the love. <laughs> they don't feel your energy. They're not they're not feeling your energy. They're upset because um, you guys haven't been together or came together. I feel like in your hopes and fears, look at that. The seven of wand the seven of swords and the Will of Fortune and the Queen of Cups. I feel like you took some chances. You took a chance on something, um, and it's paying off for you. Why is the King of Swords here? Like, even you, I feel like sometimes you may feel uh, like you're in it by yourself, or you um, are kind of, like, misunderstood, or you just don't have a lot of people around you who understand you. But I also see as well, like, shadow work being done, like, looking at your past traumas and things of that nature. I'm just seeing a lot of growth, okay? I'm seeing a lot of growth and expansion. But I'm also seeing that a chapter, um, a situation or something that was lingering around needs to be closed or has already been closed or getting ready to be closed. Now, with the King of Swords here, could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Oh, wow. There's some something that comes out of the blue, something new. I feel like after you cut, for some of you in love, once you cut this old person, this old energy off, you're going to be so surprised at the stability and the type of relationship that comes in for you. Like, I'm getting a whole new, fresh energy. I'm getting someone who's more stable, a connection that is more healthier, um, and the connection is just like twin flame connection, soulmate connection. Um, and I feel like, I feel like a lot of you are ready to make that final decision for a more positive, uh, yeah, look at that. Knight of Cups and the Sun and the Emperor. Some of y'all are dealing with the Leo or an Aries, but someone here is here to offer you something better. Like, somebody's here to offer you. This person could be a little older than you, but they're extremely mature. Um, but I feel like 
you guys are cutting something or someone off. There's something better for you. Like you're feeling really positive. You're feeling really good. All eyes are on you. You're focused on your bag. I feel like y'all got y'all priorities together. All right. So I love this energy for my Pisces. Good, good, good read. I love it. I love it. Y'all go ahead and let me know what's going on in the comment section below. If you're interested in booking a personal, all of that information is in the drop box below. As well as if you want to check out the website, guys, there's lots of new items on the website as well. That information is in the drop box as well. All right. So I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.